If you want to animate, you have to choose what program you want to use. I have three different programs that I use, and I'm learning Krita. I've just started to do a little bit with it. There is Zenfig Studio, and there's Kaden Live. Kaden Live is mostly known as a video editor. However, it can be used to animate, and we'll do a quick example here where I add a clip. I'll take a clip and uh, we're going to put a little subscribe thing in here. Here's a subscribe ping. Okay, now I've got, got it up on top. I want to drag it down into my timeline. So there it is into my timeline. I say I want a 20 second animation. We'll put it at 30 second animation. And we it fills the full screen right now. So we don't want to do that. We'll transform it. We click it to transform it. We'll reduce it in size. And there's where it starts at the very first frame. Now I can go to the end frame and say, make that a keyframe. And at the end, I want it to be up here. And that's all it takes to animate that. If I run it backwards, there it is going backwards. If I stop it, I can go back here and run it and it will move it up on top and I told it to take 30 seconds to make that journey so it's taking a bit of time to do it I can go in between here add a keyframe and say well I want it to go up here I don't want it to be bored to death while it's just then going in a, a line and over here let's put it down here where it comes back at this point and up here let's give another keyframe and we'll move it up here and we'll make it big. Okay, now let's back it up. And we run it. It goes in the direction you want it to. It will change size as it goes up on the other one. And it gets bigger and bigger. And there's the animation. That's how you animate or can animate with Kaden Live you do need to have images because there is nowhere to draw images in Kaden Live. Now we we'll go to Synfig Studio. We take Synfig Studio, we import the same image, we'll import the sub, import it, and there it is, big, big giant. We'll take and choose it, we'll pick it out, and since it's big, we want to shrink it down. That's how you shrink it right there. That'll shrink it down. And again, here's the timeline down below. There's the timeline. There it is in the beginning of the timeline. If we say, okay, um, now this is given in frames. It's not in seconds, it's in frames. We say, okay, it's 46 frames. Let's make a key frame there. There's a keyframe. At that keyframe, we want this image to be over here. And you can do the same thing. You back it up. Hope oh, I didn't click animation. It's got to be on animation. Animation on. Now we go back to the beginning. There it is in the beginning. We go to there and back. So if we play the animation, there it goes on its way up. And it's the same thing. You can throw a keyframe in the middle and say, here you go. At this point right here, I want to put a keyframe in there. And at that keyframe, I want this to go up here. And I want it to get smaller. So we can back it up to the very beginning and run it. And that's a real quick animation on how you can do animation with Synfig Studio. It, it's what you call tweening. You put an image at one point, put it at another one, you change the size, you change the direction, and the program automatically does that. It's good to use with images. This one does have, you can draw in here too. There's a draw tool. And uh, you set up your paintbrush and you can draw in here. All your 
parameters on what color you want it to be and everything else is all set. Let's see, I think we can do this right here. Uh, and it would do the same thing. When you move it, you move it the same as you do the other one. You select it and you move it. Now we go to Krita. This is another animal. This is altogether different. There's no twinning from one place to another. You make every frame individual. You still can import images. Um, you open an image up. We'll go back and we'll open up the uh, sub again. Now this opened in an altogether different window. We open it over here. So over here you have to take that image and go um, well first you got to select, select all, copy it, then you paste it, and there it is pasted. Now here's the first frame. We want this first frame to turn into an image. So we, we go to the second one and say, well, let's just duplicate what's in that first one. So there we've got it there and we've got it there. Now once I go in my first frame, I can choose it and again, size it, drag it and drop it. I can go to this frame and it's where it was before. Now if I want to, I could take and get rid of this frame. Let's see if I get rid of it. And I tell it, okay, duplicate the frame before it. Oh, the frame's already there. I can't duplicate it because it's already there. Okay. Um, so it's in that frame and it's in that frame. In this frame, I can take it and uh, do the same thing. I can shrink it down. I can move it, I can rotate it, and in the next frame, I can say duplicate it again, and there it is again. I choose it, and I move it, and I can change what I want to to it, but it's every frame. Now I can go down here and change it, and say here's another key frame I want to duplicate but it's not going to do anything in between it will stay the same place and do nothing until it gets to that point right there so if we back it up and we'll slow it way down let's watch it stays right where it's at till it goes to the third one and there it is now what you can do is in here say here's a frame at this point right here if you want to, you can draw on it. I'll get my pen here. If you want to, you can draw on it. Because this is an altogether different frame. And if I back up here, the drawing's not there. It's not there, but there it's in. And if I go away from it, it stays there. It stays with it until it moves location. So this is how you animate with Krita. Krita is a draw program. It's a paint program. A lot of tools, a lot of brushes, a lot of everything. You don't have to import an image at all. What you do is you draw your individual images or you can import them, whatever you want to. It's very interesting because you say, let's say we're at this point right here and I go, uh, uh, let's just do this. And I go to that one right there. And if I want to, I can say, where was that at before? there and it shows the places that it's going to be where it's going to be and what it looked like and there is the one down below which is what the drawing is I made so I could take that drawing here then go here go here and go here
And then if I back it all the way up and do the animation, so you have an idea how the three work. Hey, you all have a good day, and uh, happy animating. Find out which lawn you like best. Play with them all. They're free. They're all free. Hey, if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and click on a link above. Thank you.